with me today is Dan Daly of the Alzheimer's Orange County, and he is gonna be talking about a few different things. Um, uh, they're gonna be having a meeting coming up on uh, Monday, February 11th, the OC Club here, uh, the Alzheimer's OC Club, and that will be at uh, 10 o'clock and at, uh, at the Performing Arts Center. So today we're gonna be talking about a few different things. Uh, brain exercises, socialization, all kinds of different things. Yeah, well, th first of all, thank you, Ken, for uh, inviting me again. It's always a pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're starting off uh, this month in March with the Brain Health Series, and that's gonna be conducted by Cognitive Care Solutions. Mm -hmm. And Allison uh, Lerick, she'll be the facilitator. So essentially what we want to do with the brain exercises is there's going to be eight different categories of skill sets that mm -hmm. she's going to address during the class. And first and foremost, the importance of the brain exercises is that you're going to get increased blood flow to the brain, mm -hmm. which in turn makes the brain healthier and more active. And a good example would be its positive effect on memory. As a result of any type of brain exercise, your memory is going to improve. Right. And these would be things like names, mm -hmm. dates, activities, and events. And it's also going to then filter into other areas of the other facets of the brain, such as mm -hmm. problem solving, attention, right. and things like that. And she's going to focus on each of those areas. And the importance of it, is, again, is a healthy brain. A stronger mm -hmm. brain is going to last longer. It's right. basically the same. So that's uh, the area that she's going to be covering. Now, in addition to that, uh, we're, all, we're expecting anywhere from 25 to 30 people. Okay. So we are always trying to increase the attendance at these meetings. And this particular meeting is one of the more popular ones we had last year. Okay. So a byproduct of this and a benefit of these meetings in these exercises is you have the socialization aspect. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of interaction between Allison and the attendees during the class. So she's constantly asking questions, asking for their input, and she will bring out a particular exercise and there's a lot of interchange with the attendees. Mm -hmm. okay. So on the socialization side of it, they are going to increase their network of friends. So there's okay. going to be a lot of people in there, a lot of residents who they may not know one another, but yet they share a common modality, and that might be a concern over memory, or it could be over problem solving. Okay. So that's, that, that's very important. And, um, uh, you know, one of the, the notes you put down here is how consistency, of course, is key, and uh, I've, I've heard that you know, you've got to keep this up. But, but the, you know, the, I, I know that um, you have uh, worked with Dr. Tran and all that, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, what he always stresses is you got to get to this soon because if you go past a certain mark, it's almost impossible to come back again. No, no question about it. Uh, the consistency is the key. Yeah. And even though the brain isn't a muscle, it acts mm -hmm. like a muscle. So if you don't use right. it, you're going to lose it. So in the process of these exercises, mm -hmm. you're going to have uh, an increase as far as your attention span. Right. You're going to have a, a feeling of accomplishment mm -hmm. at the end of these exercises, and it's going to build a lot of self-confidence. Okay. But immediately when somebody detects that they can't remember the name of their barber or their baker mm -hmm. or Ken, when right. they run into Ken. Uh, that's usually a sign that something is starting to slip away. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important to address these issues immediately. Now, sometimes that memory challenge, it could be age-related, or it could be something to do with medication. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why when you go to see your physician on an annual basis, the commonly asked question of that physician will be, I prescribed this medication for you. Have you noticed any of the following side effects? Right. And usually memory is at the top of the list. Okay. Yeah, that's a very good point. Yeah, so the efficacy of the medication 
sometimes can be uh, segued into mm -hmm. a deleterious side effect, which you don't want. Right, and that's something that if you can pinpoint, well, that's solved. Yeah, and I also yeah. might add, sometimes you have families, uh, they mask a problem in its infancy. Okay. Or they will say, well, you know, dad is older now and he's not, he's getting forgetful. And that's the worst mistake they can make. Mm -hmm. it, it might not be just senility as you, that used to be the description right. applied to Alzheimer's. So the, the sooner they can get involved and that individual can get to the primary care physician, the better. So Dr. Trin is 100% correct in that. Right, and I, I know, you know, just from what he said, it's the type of forgetfulness. I mean, we all forget certain things throughout our daily lives. I mean, Absolutely. It, in your mid-20s, you can forget. But it's like, as you said, family members and things like that. And, you know, you might forget a name of, you run across somebody you knew, you haven't seen her for five, six years. Exactly. You know, you're like, well, God, what was that guy's name? Okay, that's, we all do that. But it's like you said, family members, people have been a part of your life for years, right. that all of a sudden you begin to forget things like that, or uh, you know, just how to get somewhere that you've gone to a hundred times. Exactly. Yeah. I would say the number one sign, though, is recently learned information that can't be recalled. Okay. That's the short-term memory loss, and that is usually what, a very what accurate goes first. description. Okay. And what is happening is they can't remember what they had for dinner last night. That, okay. That's a, that's a very positive sign that there's something going wrong there. Okay. So that's something that uh, families should be well tuned into. What did I have for dinner last night? Oh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I had. It was spaghetti and it was really good. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I, l let me ask you the, another part to that, though. Um, we got, we got just a minute left. Sure is uh, for many people, their, their lives are just in general being bombarded, bombarded by so much more information than what it used to be. And you just become lost in that anyway, and you might forget certain things. But it's just sometimes you're just trying to remember this and this and this. But you're talking about very specific things. Right, okay. right, right. I mean, we're all multitasking to a yeah. certain degree. And there are going to be things you're going to forget. Yeah. I mean, you can yeah. write them down, you're still going to forget them. Yeah, that's true. That's but true. So you've got to keep a list of priorities mentally. Okay. And, but the key is to keep that brain active. Very All right. Important. So uh, this meeting, again, is Monday at the Performing Arts Center at uh, 10 o'clock. And you're invited to go. There is no cost to, uh, to attend. If you can do that, I certainly uh, recommend it. They always put on a, a good meeting stand. Thank you very much. Great to see you again, Ken. Thank All right. you. And ad adapt to it. We'll be providing the refreshments, and they do a great right. job. They're great people. All right, folks, we're going to bring you that Globe segment right now. <laughs>